Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. The previous session ended with an exercise. Did you try it out? If the answer is yes, it's excellent because you know what we shall address today. In case the answer is no, do not worry. Let's do the exercise now, but very quickly. Let's switch to Tech Studio. I already have some large table over here. Let's build and run it. Observe that page 1 is blank and the content overflows which we cannot view it. Let's switch back to our slides. So, in this session we will learn to handle large data in a table. To address this, instead of the tabular environment, we use long table environment and include the long table package. There is no other change needed. Let's see a demo. We will write here slash use package long table and instead of the tabular environment, we write long table. Let us go down and observe that long table has also appeared here. Okay? Let us build and run. Is not this magic? We are now able to see all the rows of the table and it spans across multiple pages without any problem. The only issue here is that from second page onwards, we do not know the title of each column. Well, to address this, we write slash end head just after the rows that we would like to repeat. Since we would like to repeat stationary items and the column headings number item, we write end head over here slash end head. Let us build and run. We can now see the first two rows appear on the second page, on the third page, etc. Let us go back to our slides. We saw the purpose of end head so that the titles repeat on every page. So, using the long table environment, one can handle pretty large tables as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.